It's been an uphill battle for the Crystal City Hornets football program, but last year showed that hard work yields results. The Hornets finished 3-5, and five, but it was the first time since 2011 that Crystal City won at least three games. Head coach Dan Fox says confidence is high during training camp this year. I mean, in this, the state that our program was in, any kind of win that we could get was great. Uh, you know, it's been a long time since our school and our program was able to, to win three in a row, which was nice. And we also were competing in a lot of games that, that we lost throughout the year. I mean, it wasn't complete blowouts like it had been in, the, in previous years. So it's, it's a good confidence. And I, I've told those kids since day one, since I've been here, that we will steadily get better, but they got to put an effort for it. And the good part about it was all their effort that they've been putting in, they're seeing the results. I mean, it's not like we're taking steps back and they're putting in lots of effort. They're showing up practices, they're showing up to the weight room, they're doing what they're asked to do, they have energy and enthusiasm, they're pushing each other, they're holding each other accountable, and then it shows on the field on Friday nights, and hopefully we can carry that into this season. Kyle Schaumburg returns at QB and will likely split some snaps with sophomore Nolan Eisenweiss. Last year he ran for seven touchdowns while throwing for four. He says camp feels different this year. This day's been a lot different. And years back, we uh, camps, it was, it was a mess. We didn't really know what we were doing. But this year, I feel like we, everybody knows what they're doing for the most part. So it's running a lot smoother and better. Schaumburg also says he's excited about the skill positions on offense. Um, skill guys, I think we have some really good skill guys. We have a lot of speed this year, people that can catch the ball. So if we, got, we get people running the right routes. Getting them good balls, we should be good. Senior lineman Hayden Reynolds says it's crazy how much things have changed in the last four years at Crystal City. I think it'll be pretty fun last year. I mean, I'm going to miss it, but I think we're going to have a really good year. I mean, we're definitely better than we've been years past. A lot more people freshman year. I mean, we had nobody then. Now we can about go 11 on 11 now. It's crazy. Coach Fox says he has more variety on offense than ever. Good thing about what we run offensively is that at any point in time, anybody can get the ball. I mean, there are some offenses where it's just geared towards one person running or receiving the ball over and over again. Um, but with us, we just feel like we can throw it, we can run it. It doesn't matter who we hand the ball off to. It doesn't matter who we throw the ball to. We have a competent enough and physical enough offensive line that understands what we're doing. That It's a pretty balanced attack. And uh, finally, and this is no offense to previous years, but we feel like we've got enough balance that it doesn't matter which direction we go. It doesn't matter who gets the ball. We, we feel like we can get yards and maybe put up some points at any point in time. The message last year for Crystal City was laying a foundation. Fox says that now the groundwork is complete, they want to start building. We saw some building blocks happening, and it happened mostly with our, with our sophomore class who played a lot as freshmen, and last year they were sophomores, and now they're going to be juniors, and it's a good, good group and a good core of guys that want to be good football players, have bought in, been in the weight room, and we knew that we also had a fairly decent junior high class and we knew that eventually these guys were going to be playing together and so last year was more of a building blocks and now we've got the, the junior high group that had some success coming in and they're cutting their teeth as we were telling them they're, they're learning what it means to be a Friday night football player and some of them are, are answering it and some of them are still learning um, but the building blocks are in place and now we're just adding to it and, and like I said we've got more depth this year than, than ever before. Crystal City begins the season at Chaffee, then will be at home against Louisiana, then Bayless. At Confluence, at Gateway, at Russellville, home against Van Farr, at Missouri Military Academy, then ends the season at Herculaneum. For Regional Radio Sports, I'm Garrett Davenport.